Hi all, it's me again with another update. Now it's Max Easy Terrain 0.7 and I just wanted to show you the new tree variations. But first let's try to make another another landscape. 22nd of September. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's fine. And yeah, it's my birthday and it's tomorrow, so thanks. So let's check out uh, the new features, the tree variations. It is uh, down here, you can just enable variations. Chips like that. Then we can update the trees and see what happens. Nothing because we need to make some variation that are different from the norm selection. So uh, now if I remove this, we can actually remove chunks of, of forest. We'll try to see it here. You can see you now have some open spaces inside the forest. We can increase the chunk size. So you get larger areas without trees now or even more get huge areas without trees like that but uh, you can also spray out different uh, biomes of trees so uh, I could uh, just select this one and you can see where it goes so we're gonna have uh, different kinds of uh, biomes with different uh, types of trees in different areas. We can just try to move it again and then we can say it. you can use this slider to set how much uh, space you want and the other way is how many trees you want. So now we get a little more trees and as you can see here you can use it to just have uh, some forest in uh, some areas of your of your map. But that's pretty great because you this way you reduce the tree count so it will be faster and uh, actually it looks better. You just need to find the best values here. Like that. Or as I said you can uh, spray our uh, variations. So we have different uh, types of uh, forests. Well here I just use the red so you can see where it is. And then play around with the, these uh, sliders and see what happens. Now it's, they are way more small. Oops. Larger areas of different forest types. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to use and I think uh, you can get some pretty nice looking uh, landscapes or trees. Now we can boost up the density because we uh, have removed a lot of the other trees that was on this level. Okay, then there is a couple of other new features also, like uh, we have now have a smooth steps, which is uh, well nearly the same as uh, you use in uh, Game Guru Max when you smoothen. Uh, when you use the smooth brush, but this uh, is used on all of the uh, on all of the map in one go, so you can like this. It will smooth it by seven. Oh sure, if we can see, uh, perhaps we could try to increase this so we get some spikes. Probably that won't look very nice, but uh, if we just remove the smoothness again. You see we get some spikes in the landscape. Let's up it up a little. 2.4. Yeah. Well, it do look uh, interesting. But then you can use the smooth slider. Say you, well, this is a little too much. So uh, let's uh, smooth it out a bit. 
Yeah, they have some spikes there. So we now smooth it out. Six. Let's see everything get more rounded now. Thirty-five. The higher you set it, the more detail you lose, so uh, you should uh, keep it uh, as low as possible. But you can uh, combine everything with this and you can get some uh, interesting results. See, this is uh, pretty nice. Here we have a forest area and... Uh, yeah. Try it. You can smooth it all the way up to 100. This is the max, but uh, then it's very smooth. Yeah. Oops. So, and then uh, it now also have... Uh, uh, you can use it on a second monitor if you like. And you can run it at the same time as uh, Game Guru Max. So you can have this on uh, one monitor and Game Guru Max on the other monitor. And you should try this. So just export the Game Cool Max map file, select the name, and then load it into uh, Game Cool Max, and you'll get exactly the same. So you can experiment that way also. So, uh, well, that was just a quick update, and uh, until next time, have a nice day. Oh, yeah, please remember if you like to support this work, uh, you can go to Patreon and uh, download. The latest version now is 0 0.7, so uh, I really appreciate your support, and have a nice day.